this is the mall cast. We are the mall men and lady. I've got Greg, I've got Dylan, I've got Danelle, I am Ken. We are right here at the White Dog Tap Room, coming to you courtesy of Mahali Wood Beer Brewery. Ah, coming to you courtesy of Mahali Wood Brewery and Rook's Beer. Okay, so today we're doing a little bit of a taste test and we are trying the original lager, party porter and perky peach just to see which is the most favoured by the mole cast themselves. Round one, original lager. Definitely a solid um, craft beer. Out of ten, I'd have to say an eight. Eight out of ten. Uh, Light, good, refreshing. Here we go. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10 because lagers are generally my favorite beer. Crisp, light, just like a lager should be. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. That is very, very good. I think I'll give it a 7 because I'm not really a fan of lagers. Round 2, Party Porter. Mm, mm, mm. Much heavier beer, much darker, way more to my taste. Nine and a half out of ten. Very creamy, woody, it's definitely a dark beer. I'm actually going to give that an eight and a half just because it's not quite a lager which isn't my general style but that is beautiful. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. Heavy and creamy, just like a dark beer should be. I'll also give that an 8 out of 10. Definitely more the kind of beer I will like. It's very round, it's got a very, very full bodied flavor. I think I'll give that a 9 out of 10. Round 3, Perky Beach. Surprising peach undertones for something. <laughs> I mean, I know I expect <laughs> peach as the flavor, but I didn't actually expect the peach undertones mm. because generally when a craft beer calls itself something like that, you don't expect the fruity flavor. I'll give it a seven and a half out of ten. I generally don't expect fruit flavors in my beer, but it's still you tasty. Can, you can smell the fruit immediately. I'm going to give that eight and a half out of ten because you can definitely taste the fruit and it's not overpowering and it's not too sweet. It's, it's actually, you can taste it's a beer, which, yeah. I don't like fruit beers. <laughs> <laughs> As a preface. <laughs> so I'm going to give this a go, the perky peach. That is actually surprising. Quite almost fruit juicy in mm. some ways mm. not bad seven out of ten because i still don't like fruit <laughs> i think you and me share this uh, <laughs> but still it's, it's not nice. i have to drink a fruit beer i would drink this one <laughs> so the fruit beer for fruit beer haters yes yes, yes. yes. there we go i think this is the first fruit beer i've ever had mm -hmm. it is very nice it's a very girly beer which I guess would suit me. Mm. I and think I'll give just an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Definitely a suit carriage. Okay, so. Firstly, we're going to start with the original lager. Um, anybody got any extreme thoughts? So, it, it's I mean, my favorite. People may notice that we're a lot of us are drinking the original <laughs> lager. That's true. Uh, if I had to know, it, just so you know how much I like the other one better, I would have ordered it to begin with. But yeah, this one's still really good. Like, I also have a little bit of a confession. I, I, I every year at Geekfest, I do try Rooks beer, and I've been through a lot of their beers. Biased. 
And <laughs> I am quite biased towards the original uh, lager, but to be honest, the porter, uh, the party porter, is also one of my favourites. And the peach doesn't offend me. It's actually also very, the very good. The peach is a lot less offensive than I thought it would yeah. be. I, think I, I thought I was going to be deeply, deeply <laughs> offended to my core, well, and yet I was not. So, so okay, so it's a good breakfast. So I, 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 went, I, went, I went, I went, a little bit off track. So what about what are, is everybody's thoughts on the original uh, yeah, lager? Yeah, it is yeah. my favourite uh, of the of the bunch. Um, I do really, really like it. I think it's great. It's crisp. It's clear. On a hot summer's day, this is exactly what I'm it looking does, for. It's not too sweet, which I do find a lot of lagers do suffer from. That's what I was going to say. It's also say. not too bitter, becoming pulsnery, which a lot of lagers also and, suffer from. And, and which is why I don't like it. It doesn't taste like tin, which you know, is beer. great. Yeah. Beer, yeah. So uh, definitely I agree with you, Kevin. It's the most refreshing of all three. Yes. Like I feel like it's a cool glass of cold beer that I'm drinking because I'm mm. drinking it and like it slakes the thirst. Indeed. Okay, um, our thoughts on the, 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 the uh, party porter, mm. um, it's great in all rounds. Uh, in fact, today, uh, Carrot will at some point show you videos of me making a poiki. I'm actually using the powder for the poiki because ah, it the is... Powder the powder for the poiki? The powder for the poiki, for the poiki you say. It's going to be a party porter poiki. Um, and uh, the reason I'm using it is I'm actually making a built-on poiki today and dark beers go really, really well with that meaty, salty flavor. But more on so that later. So it is later. one of my choices. So more on that later. But yes, uh, mm. thoughts mm. on the, 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 the porter? Definitely my favorite out of three, mm. but mm. I do like dark beers. Yeah, I have to agree. Also, it did it for me, that that um, dark, rich flavor. It's what I look for in a beer, so. I tend to agree. I also like enjoy a dark beer, and I found that, but it's, rounded and creamy without being far too heavy which mm. is a trap that a lot of dark beers fall into i find what I like so you could have more than one mm. but Gosh. also what i like about it is that that, that lovely woody taste as well it, it just blends everything well together and then finally we get on the the bread completely <laughs> non-offensive <laughs> breakfast beer I, I think Danelle coined it when when she said it's the beer for people who don't like fruit beer so it's the fruit beer for fruit beer haters, <laughs> in that it's not as offensive as a lot of the commercially fruity flavored flying fish foglomagorgs or whatever out there are. The Linda. The Linda. Linda's of the beer industry. Um, uh, as I say, what I really like about it is you can taste it's a beer that has fruit added. There we go. It's not just a fruit juice with beer added, it's a beer with fruit. Exactly. Added. And it also doesn't taste artificial like mm. a lot of the fruit flavored beers end up tasting. I found it quite juice like, which is why I call it yes. the breakfast beer. It's the beer to have if you want one at 9 a.m. Or 8 a.m. Actually, to be honest, I'll have any judge. of them at 9 a.m. It's, <laughs> it's true. It's always 9 a.m. somewhere. Winner, uh, Patty Porter. Why did the Porter win? Okay, so let us give a polite clap for so the party porter. The party porter has won. Congratulations. Second was the original lager, and due to unfortunate circumstances of having two fruit beer dislikers in the group. Haters, uh, haters, go there. Go there. <laughs> the Perky Beach has come in third. However, one thing that we can see from all the results is there wasn't a beer that scored low. Um, I think the lowest we actually got was a 7, which doesn't actually mean that the beer is bad, it means that it's very, very drinkable. 21. 21 was the lowest overall score. Oh, 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 so, 31. so... 31. 31 was the lowest score. I'm just getting this in from our people behind the booth. 31 was our lowest overall score. 31, 31, 31 is not bad. 30, 42. 32. 32 was 32. 32. It's in from the booth, people. 32 is a high score. And it's close. First was? More than that. 35. 35. So that's actually a clear winner by two points, and it's not very far between two. these two. 32 yeah. and 35. That's three points. So if you get three. an opportunity, How many of these have you had <laughs> enough. If you also, get an opportunity, that is my superpower. I mean, my just weakness. <laughs> if you get an opportunity, check out Rook's beer. Mm. Uh, definitely come to the White Dog Tap Room. I'm having a blast. The people here are awesome. And if you want to learn about the beer, just ask. They are more than happy mm. to tell you. That's Dodo from the Wallcast for now. See you in a couple of minutes. Bye! Bye.